Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house, back at you to do your weekly read. This is going to be from the 22nd through the end of the month. However, because the date is just a contingency, whenever you come across it is when you're meant to see it. Here's little Delilah, in case you haven't met her yet. She's our little spirit guide and mascot here on the channel, so she just lays here looking cute and sleeping. All right, guys, let's get into this. As above, so below. It is with an attitude of gratitude. I would humbly like to thank Source. The Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of the collective of Virgo. So, hey, Virgo, how are you guys? In case nobody told you today, Delilah, Tiberius, and I love you. Here we go. Show me Virgo, please. What does Virgo need to see? Mink. All right, Page of Pentacles. <clears throat> so... Obviously, this could be you, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus, but the Page of Pentacles is um, somebody who's very um, ambitious, diligent, goal-oriented, dependable, loyal. Maybe some of you started some kind of a new financial endeavor, whether it was a new job or some kind of a business for yourself, side hustle or something like that recently. Show me, please. Thank you. Okay. Oh, nice. Look what you're going to turn it into. Virgo, the Ten of Pentacles. Nice. That is financial security. This talks about uh, legacy, roots, you know, wealth. I mean, wealth, period. Just wealth. Okay. Family stability. Show me. Now, at the foundation. Oh, my own me. Virgo, at the foundation of this situation, look what you got going on here. Broken freaking heart. Some kind of emotional pain. Most likely because of a third-party situation. So we know how I feel about this freaking card here on this channel, right? I hate it. Oh. Okay, here we go. So, crowning you right now, you are trying to balance yourself out. You're being very resourceful and, uh, you know, doing the balancing act. Adaptable. Trying to get your feet on solid ground over here. Coming in, what you don't see is... Ooh, successful completion of a cycle here. The end of the major arcana. Success, achievement, accomplishment, completion, fulfillment. I mean, now you can go start a whole new a whole new journey, right? Show me. Show me, please. Okay. Hmm. All right. So listen, you know, maybe you're not very trusting. You're thinking, listen, this is how you're looking at things. Like there are people trying to do figazy things to you. Behind your back, robbing, lying, stealing. So your trust level is like... Not even there, actually. There could be fugazi people around you doing stuff, though. So be careful, because if there are, they're trying to distract you with the... Uh... Yeah, I'm hearing all that glitters isn't gold. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. All right, so here we go. Um, so now, in your actual environment, you have the Emperor, Aries Energy. This is, you know, somebody who's large and in charge. The stable, dependable, structured authority. Could be a father or father figure, but it doesn't have to. It's definitely a boss that oversees other people. Um, pulls some kind of strings in some kind of arena of their life. So, this is you. And um, Spirit's advising you to work better with others. You've got a three pentacles here. So, maybe some shared goals or some, you know apprenticeship, learning how to do things differently, maybe, you know, working better with others. You do have a tower at the end of this. Oh, boy, my hand is itchy. So it's Scorpio energy for uh-oh, okay? This is what I'm telling you. The tower is some kind of shock or surprise, something you don't see coming. It's usually the divine, you know, throwing a lightning bolt in everybody's ass to get them out of the tower so that they can build a new one. You have a page of cups at the bottom of the deck. This is going to be some incoming information or some news or a text or a phone call maybe being asked out on the date. And it's going to be, you know, innocent. Nothing nefarious about that. So now let's clarify. We have this page of pentacles here. What are we doing with this? Two. One more, please. Thank you. Three. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> Guys, thank you so much for hitting that like and subscribe. It is so important for us, and we, we really, really appreciate it so much. Thank you for your generosity. Here we go. Show me this page of pencils. What are we doing here? Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, look at here. You got the three of swords twice here. This is like a lot of emotional pain. This is a big broken heart. That's what this is. Okay. Now, you do have an ace of cups. So, there is some kind of... Um, 
you know, maybe some kind of a new emotional or um, intimate experience happening here for you. You do have uh, some kind of a awakening or there's going to be some after heartache. You're going to get, you know, a new relationship possibly. You do have a hangman here. So this is Pisces energy for uh, feeling trapped, confined, uncertain, a lack of direction. Maybe some of you are not going to know which way to go with this. You're going to have to make some kind of a clear choice. Maybe some of you are still in emotional pain because it's not flipped in the other direction. So, okay, here we go. You do have the tower again. Hey, Virgo, what the hell's going on over here? So some kind of surprise or shock again. This is Scorpio energy. You have Scorpio energy. You have uh, Pisces energy here. Mm, show me. Cards are repeating. Okay, the Knight of Cups. Somebody coming in to offer you some kind of cup of emotion. Now, whether it's, you know, ask you out on a date, something like this. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio energy. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, male or female. Well, let's see. What's going on with this? Okay, so now you here you are tempering your emotions. Sagittarian energy. You know, you're not overreacting. You're very balanced, peaceful, and patient. You have some kind of inner calm about you. So you're not, oh, but really, you're getting stressed out. Look at you. But really, you're stressed out. So you so you got this uh, facade on, is what I want to say. Because look at you all stressed over here. This is stressing you out. Maybe you're not ready yet. Maybe you haven't emotionally healed yet. But it's up all night. It's not sleeping. What's going on here? Can I have cards for Virgo, please? This one? Okay, thank you. King of Pentacles. Nice, Virgo. This is you. Virgo Capricorn and Taurus, large and in charge. Financially stable, working hard. Some of you might have your own businesses, but it doesn't have to be. Just, you know, reliable, confident, smart, business savvy, right? A business person. Okay, so here, you could, you know, could be using your head and detaching from a situation. You got the Eight of Cups. This is walking away to find your Ninth and Tenth Cup. So whatever this was that was emotionally painful for you, you know, you decided to walk away from it. Good for you. Especially if it was a third party situation, right? Don't ever be somebody's choice. I mean, option. You could be the choice, not the option. You know what I meant. Okay, here you go. So now, yeah, you some of you might need some rest. This is recuperation. This is also being quiet. So walking away and uh, I'm getting ghosting. <laughs> somebody, are you ghosting somebody? Uh... Or somebody's ghosting you, but there is a card of recuperation, sanction, sanctuary rest, loving yourself, you know, pouring back into yourself. Now you got this Aries energy of taking a new leap of faith. So I guess after you detach here, wherever you are on this timeline, if you're resonating with this, and then, you know, recuperate, recuperate, then you'll be ready to take a new leap of faith if you haven't already. So Aries energy for try, right? For some kind of new beginning, some kind of adventure, some kind of free spirit here. Let me see. Three, six, nine. One more on this full. One more on the full, please. What are we doing here? I always encourage everybody to try, right? No harm in trying. Okay. The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor for good luck and good karma. It's Sagittarian energy. It's about, your, you know, it's about some kind of decisive moments in your life that, you know, make up your fate. So, are you all right over here, Delilah? <laughs> what are you doing, Dilly? Here you go. Sorry, guys. Uh, she's having an issue with her Christmas costume. Okay, here, but show me this uh, Show me this world down here. So, now, what did we successfully complete? What's going on with this? Okay. You got the six of uh, rods. <laughs> victory. Some kind of victory. Whatever you, yeah, you successfully completed something and now you're riding high in the, on the victory horse, right? Show me. Well, what's going on here? This one. Okay, so now you got the hermit. This is you, Virgo. You know, maybe isolating yourself for a little while, taking some time to uh, process everything that you've been through up here and uh, loving yourself. Go Doing some introspection, some soul searching and reflection and then going by your own inner guidance, right? Here you go, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, large and in charge. This is being very, um, this could be, in, you know, somebody around you that has fire in their chart, male or female, or this is you taking control, being a visionary, a leader, 
uh, bold, daring, decisive. Not taking any crap from anybody. Here you are being very patient now. Watching your uh, garden grow. It's the seven of pentacles. It's the seven of pentacles. So this is um, rewards and growth and progress. Seeing how much progress you made. Patiently waiting for your crops to come to fruition. You could be inspired right here about something. Something's inspiring you. Um, some kind of inspiration to be successful in some area of your life. It's going to be different for everybody. Show me what we have here. You also, oh yeah, what did I tell you? You got the spark under somebody's ass card. So you got inspiration and you, you got some kind of creative spark or some kind of uh, enthusiasm or confidence or a new passion in something. <laughs> Let me see. King of Swords. So here you are being very intelligent or there could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius around you, male or female. The King of Swords is somebody who's very articulate and the King of Swords is um, very disciplined and strict and intellectual. They have a lot of integrity. They're a very clear thinker. That's the master chess player. It's the thinking king. Okay, there could be something that you're in denial about or somebody around you is. Something that somebody doesn't want to see. Maybe you're stuck between a rock and a hard place having to make a decision and you're trying, you know, not to acknowledge it. Like, in other words, the longer I ignore it, maybe it'll go away. Not going to happen, by the way. Um, better to just hit it head on. You do have a page of swords in reverse here. So there is somebody watching you with this page of swords in reverse. Um, this is somebody who could be very immature, cynical, rude, you know, sarcastic, a liar, a manipulator, whatever they're doing, they have their eyes on you. Instead of worrying about straightening their own shit out, right? Nine, here we go, ten. Now, maybe they're watching you be successful. Maybe you're single and successful. Maybe, um, yeah. They, they could be watching you thrive, like in singlehood and success. Or, or you could be watching somebody do this. It could be an air sign that you're watching, right? Or they're watching you, whatever. Somebody's successful and single over here with this nine of uh, pentacles. They've, they've achieved some kind of accomplishment, okay? They're being rewarded for their efforts. Here you go, Empress energy. So this is good. Uh, Taurus energy, but, you know, it's the Empress. So it's, it's being very fertile. So some of you could be having babies or, you know, whatever you're fertilizing, businesses, something's going to happen fast here. Um, you know, anything that you put your mind to, really, it's... it's uh... But also the Empress is somebody who's very nurturing, kind, loving. She's the boss, right? All four queens report to her. So let's see, three, six... Nine, one more on this Empress. So now we have Taurus energy here. Okay, here we go. Oh, we'll take them both. All right, so listen. Um, obviously, there could be a Taurus around you. You have Taurus in your chart, but you have the five of rods. This is Leo for conflict, struggle, and disputes. You know, competition, arguing, fighting. And this could be because, um, you know, you do have this five of pentacles in reverse. So, you know, this is... Somebody could be very angry because you, you, they want to come out of the cold with you. You understand, like, it's, it's a recovery from financial loss. It is positivity. It's overcoming adversity. So, you know, you could be overcoming this struggle and this competition and everything. Or somebody could be very upset with you that has Taurus or Leo in their chart because they want... Or you could be upset with somebody flip and switch it because you want to come out of this um this lack mind state this you know you want to um recover from whatever it is now even if it's not financial it could be like emotional in other words you want to get past the bullshit this is stop fighting and arguing this is what this is you have the devil capricorn energy sun moon rising venus male female there is some toxicity around okay so this is how it might come in to break that down it could be lying, cheating, stealing, drugs, I mean, sex, anything that you want over here that's toxic and not healthy for you. Let's see what we have. So this could be somebody from your past, or you could be feeling very nostalgic and sentimental right now because, you know, guess what? It's the holidays. That's what we do. Um, 
especially if you're single and successful here. You do have a, so this is good. This is a happy ending after all. You have the Four of Wands. Four of Wands talks about stability, harmony, prosperity, and peace. It is an Aries energy. Four of Wands is about, you know, home and reunions and stability. And But you're feeling kind of apathetic here. Disinterested, disconnected, bored maybe even, indifferent. I don't know what's going on with you, Virgo. But not you, it's somebody around you. Let's see what Kipper has to say about this. Kipper, please and thank you. Let's put some two cents in here. Come on, Kipper, give it to us. Kipper, thank you. Okay. There is a message or some kind of message of concern coming in, 14 or 5. Somebody could be in poverty. It doesn't have to be... Um, materialistically or financially. It could be emotionally, spiritually, and mentally too, but just poverty. Uh, 37, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, 30, uh, so 37 or 10, 14 or 5. I'm hearing also it could be poverty because of some kind of a drug addiction or something like this, some kind of an addiction that they have where all their money's going to that. Um, 16 or 7. This is the free parking card, right? Somebody's got some somebody on their mind, maybe the both of you, and it's, you know... Free parking, renting space without actually paying any rent, right? Show me. Show me, Kipper. Here we go. Now, there's a wealthy man involved in this. 13 or 4. You also have 34 or 7. Somebody's occupation is involved with this. Anything else, Kipper? So far, you've got 333 three, three as a angel code and 111. One, one. Let's see if we get anything else. Anything else, Kipper? You want to go put that into Google, get some kind of message from your angels or something like this. This one. So seven. There is some kind of message. There's a message coming in. It could be a message of concern, but there is some kind of message. It could have something to do with a privileged lady, number 12 or number three. So again, it's 3333 three, three, or 11 or 1111. So those are good. Uh, let's get you some of these. Yeah, let's get you an oracle card first. Oracle first for Virgo, please. Virgo, here you go. Samadhi. Perfect acceptance, number 29, or again with the 11. At the bottom, you have detox. Cleanse and restore yourself. Now let's get you some... Uh, Moonology and astrology. Here we go. Any more? So you got Aquarius. There could be an Aquarius involved in this. You also have... Bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. A new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. What else? Leo. There could be a Leo involved in this. Anything else for Virgo? Don't let your past hold you back, South Node. And be, be bold and make the first move, Cardinal Moon. Anything else? One more time around the mountain here. Okay. Your hard work is paying off New Moon and Capricorn. Let me just get you a couple of letters. Thank you again for hitting that like and subscribe, Virgo. We're very, very grateful. Okay, here we go. Oh, boy. I already was starting with all these repetitive letters. So, you have... Oh, God. My God. What is it? All vowels? 500 letters, and this is what I come up with. Really? It's, it's, it's a travesty. All right. Let's see. We have stuff, though. Okay, here we go. You have three A's, four O's, two E's, and a U. You have an H, a D, an L, a G, an N... Another A, two N's, and an R. So there you go. Thank you again for joining us. Always remember, lead with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy. Trust in God because karma is real. Until next time, love and light.